I'm just gonna walk you through a couple of my prized possessions. You got my Allagash white Russian nesting dolls, which are pretty cool. You got this gavel here that my great-grandfather used down in Florida. That's the man himself. You got this really cool pen that I got when I was in Tokyo, Japan. My friend Lissy's teeth that I got in Secret Santa about two years ago. You got this uh, teapot shaped like Winston Churchill. That's a real treasure. My vanilla ice wrap card, obviously, that's there for a reason. You got this first edition copy of Coraline by Neil Gaiman. And of course, 2017 bottle of sanctification from Russian River Brewing in Santa Rosa, California. I got this bottle from Russian River Brewing in Santa Rosa, California when I went out to throw Juicy Brews West Fest, which was an awesome time. The first year we did it, we did it at a vegan restaurant, uh, art dealership gallery, and used car museum called Classic Cars West. It was a blast. The second year we did it, we did it at Drake's dealership, which was a really cool Drake's tap room in Oakland, California. And of course, after the festival, the team and I had to go up to wine country to check out what was happening up there. And we had to make the pilgrimage to Russian River. Been waiting to open this puppy since uh, 2017. This was bottled on September 5th, 2017. It has, per the instructions on the bottle, been aged in a cool, dark place. 6.75% sanctification sour blonde fermented with 100% tanomyces. This beer is almost older than hop culture. One cool thing about this beer is it was bottled on the exact same weekend that hop culture threw its first festival right here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. It was at Dancing Gnome Brewing. It was in the backyard. That went down on September 3rd, I believe, which was a Saturday. Let's open this puppy up. Wow, not bad for, uh, what is this, five years old? Cool thing about a lot of Russian River Sours is that they get better with time. You take care of them, they'll take care of you. All that funkiness you get from a Brett fermentation is just really living its full expression inside this liquid right here. It's complex, it's a little sweet. You can kind of taste the stress of the yeast, five years worth of living and breathing and dying inside this bottle. One of the things I think is most impressive about beers like this is that this is almost five years old. You get a can of some super hoppy IPA, you let that sit in the fridge for five years, you let that sit in the fridge for five months, you tell me how that tastes because it's not gonna be delicious. But something like this, you can put away, you can let sit and it's actually going to get better with time and uh, become more complex as time goes on. Um, that's pretty cool. It's a special occasion beer right here and we're celebrating. Where are we celebrating Nick? Today. That's right. We're celebrating today. This was Sanctification Sour Blonde, a 6.75% Britannomyces fermented Ale from Russian River Brewing Company in Santa Rosa, California. And this was the best beer I had this week. Cheers.